but also respect for each other so remember every single one of you is in this together okay we have 30 seconds all you runners let's have some hands in the air all you wave to come on let's see them let's see those hands let's see some clapping come on this is your day this is for you we are here for you this is incredible everybody all the supporters we are into 10 seconds to go sharon let's have a 10 second Ten, countdown nine eight seven six five four three two one and we are off we two of the uts energy by utmp 100 k guys good luck to you all for lucky cookies enjoy every single moment every single step it may be hard guys but this is what you've trained for this is what you're ready for you prepared for months for this you have got this we shall see you back at the finish line in just a few hours time possibly a few more absolutely sharon this is your time enjoy it drink it in feel the emotion lift yourselves rise up and become champions and warriors of the uts here in thamberis in wales in cymru as you begin your 100 kilometer journey we wish you the very best of luck and also First big descent of the day, we managed to make it to the first big marker point. We're going to then transcend down to um, 8 stop 1. And, uh, just a little bit to go to the 8 station. Cheers. So we're just leaving the first aid station, managed to make the checkpoint, and now we're going to walk up probably the most disgusting hill to start off with. Uh, it's just, it looks awful. <laughs> I'm 
I'm going to have to make less. I'll just put the original on the best as possible. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was 25, 25 or 35, I couldn't quite work it out. Quad destroyer. As you can see, it's extremely technical as well. It just takes time. There's um, it's the risk of slipping and uh, just 
caught in your quads. They're um, a little bit shaky. I'll uh, hopefully I'll clear up. Like, 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 like Wednesday, we've like gone to the pub at lunch and then not come back. We're about 2k off the aid station, so the second aid station. What's the time? We're under, tw we're under 12 o'clock, aren't we? Well under, well under the cut-off time. Yeah, it's six and a half hours in. Six and a half hours in. So well under the cut-off time for the second aid station. Looking forward to getting a refuel. Adam's absolutely creaming it. Yeah! Well, oh, found it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Heinrich. You know? Oh, we hit that second uh, of the first aid station. Oh, it's there. disgusting. You feeling good? Legs good? Yeah, they're okay. You're looking good now. Way too long. away from an aid station got a massive descent and um, I'm not sure that the uh, shoes are going to hold up and uh, we'll see
down. So, um, they're blown on the sides now as well, just from coming on that down here. So the outsides are now ripped, the insides are both ripped. So I've got a good chance that I might be walking barefoot to the aid station. So uh, my feet, where they've been moving around in the shoe, because they're completely trash, they've just, the bottom of my feet, I'll have to show it when I, um, when I finish, but the blisters underneath feel awful. Just getting to the point they're getting that bad, it's all under the pads of the feet. So it's not on the heels, so I'll, um, I'll, uh, I'll give you a little view later. Ah. But uh, about 2k off the aid station. Nicola, you need to give that number to someone probably, yeah? I'm Charlotte Clark and I took on the 100k at UTS. I wanted to prove to myself that I can do hard things and try and really find out what I'm capable of after two heart surgeries. It was the most gruelling, hardest thing I've ever done, but I'm proud to be a finisher of the UTS 100k. With only 12% of the finishing field being female, I'm proud to be a strong female amongst them. My name is Rufus Carter, probably better known to most as Nifty, and I've just completed the UTS 100K. And as advertised, it was beautiful beyond belief and savage beyond reason. I signed up because I knew the race would terrify me. I signed up because I knew it would test me emotionally and physically like nothing had previously in my life. And when I crossed that finish line, I cannot find the words to explain how I felt in that moment. Just pride and joy and happiness and swear words. It was an awesome feeling. Hi, my name is Ollie Burton Taylor and I ran the UTS 50 for a second year in a row. Ultra Trail Snowdonia has to be one of the most demanding and challenging ultra events in the UK. And so I was delighted PB last year's time by 50 minutes and go inside the top 100 finishes. A massive achievement and means more to me than any other race I've ever completed. The volunteers made this event for me with their unwavering energy and kindness. A massive thank you to them all. I take on ultra challenges for two reasons. Because I enjoy seeing places you cannot reach without venturing off the beaten track and to prove to my kids 
that they can achieve anything with a determined mindset. Hi, it's Sharon. I was privileged to be one of the MCs at that fantastic event, the UTMB UTS in Odonia, Erri. Awe-inspiring athletes, incredible performances by all involved, fantastic volunteers, just the whole thing was incredible. Well done to everybody. Diane Paub. Hi, my name's Graham Clayton. At the weekend I took part in the Ultra Trail Snowdonia 100k. Um, unfortunately, didn't go as planned and DNF to around about 43k and the course was epic. I've never experienced elevation like it at the ups and the downs. So steep in places, so technical, but absolutely love the race. We'll be back again next year and uh, now know what I need to do in order to get to the finish line. My name's Tony Brown Price, I'm recovering after competing in the UTMB Snowdonia 25k race last Saturday. I decided to sign up because a family member, Adam, was signed up to do the 100k race and I thought it'd be good to go along and support him. Uh, in reality, it was a bit of a battle just for me on my own. I found it quite hot, a bit boggy in places and quite technical on some of the downhills and obviously very, very steep. I didn't quite finish within the cutoff time with that in mind, so I'll be back again next year to try and do better. Yeah, name's Harry Raines. Uh, took part the UTS 100. I DNF'd at 81K. Was running for 25 hours and finally just fell short of timing. But yeah, done the 57K last year. Found that so much fun. Thought I tackled the 100K this year gave it a massive go first 100k the terrain was so tricky going into things like night times and going over 24 hours worth of racing it was just absolutely crazy probably one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life but i'm sure i'll be back next year what a great time i had yeah hi my name's alan great batch i recently took part in utmb snowdonia 100k i dnf'd on the third aid station my shoes and feet fell apart the reason for me booking the event was I wanted to book something for my 40th birthday, I wanted to book something incredibly hard and difficult, and it certainly held up to the challenge. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I'll be back for more. Hey, Ed, it's Neil. Um, just letting you know I've changed your name in the phone now to Mountain Goat, because you're always up the side of a mountain. Anyway, good luck today with the 100km. Uh, you're going to smash it.